Jesus answered them, my father works until now and I myself am working. For this reason, therefore, the Jews were seeking all the more to kill Jesus, kill him, because not only was he breaking the Sabbath, but he also called God his own father, making himself equal to God. They understood he was saying, I'm equal to God. I'm, I got all the, the nature of deity. Therefore, Jesus answered and said to them, truly, truly, I say unto you, the son can do nothing of himself unless it is something he sees the father doing. For whatever the father does, these things the son also does in like manner. For the father loves the son and shows him all things that he himself is doing. And the father will show him greater works than these so that you can marvel. So just as the father raises the dead and gives life to them, even so the son also gives life to whom he pleases. For not even the father judges anyone, but he's given all judgment to the son so that all will honor the son even even as they honor the Father. He who does not honor the Son does not honor the Father who sent him. Now, just from a casual reading, something going on in the Trinity. The Son says, whatever Daddy does, I do. And I don't do anything that I do until Daddy gives me permission to do it. Because the Son only does what the Father says. So the Son gives his will, the Father gives his will, the Son does it. The, the father says give life, the son does. Whatever daddy says, the son does because we, we flow like that. We're hooked up like that. Whatever the father wants, the son does. But the son does what the father wants so I, the son can bring glory back to the father. So the father wants to make a big deal about the son and the son uses a big deal that the father made about him to bring a big deal back about the father because the father loves the son. And the father loves the son so much that the father comes up with ways to make the son look good. That means glory. Glory means to publicize, advertise, or make look good. So my daddy loves me so much that he creates things that makes me look good. So when y'all see me doing the things I'm doing he said to the Jews it's because my daddy told me to do it because he wanted me to show off in front of you how great he is by giving me permission to do what you just saw so daddy is investing in me because daddy loves me the father loves the son in fact when you read the book of St. John he says over and over and over again the father loves the son in John 3 35 he says the father loves the son in John 10 17 the father loves the son in John 15 9 the father loves the son in John 17 verse 23 and 24 the father loves the son so the father loves me so much that he moves and I can't help but twitch. Our connection is so tight. This love affair that me and my daddy have is so tight that we live in love. For God is love. So we. this is how we roll. If you come into our environment, bam, love, bam, love, bam, love, bam, love, bam, 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 bam. It's all love because that's how we roll up in here, up in here. Because that's our environment. And so the way we love each other, me and my daddy, the way we love each other is by making each other look better. So the father does something for me that makes me look better and then I roll it back to him so that he looks good by what I did that shows him off what he told me to do. So we bounce him back. Then the Holy Spirit's got to jump into the plan and the Holy Spirit comes in the plan and says, I have only come to glorify the son. So now he jumps in and we got this Trinitarian love fest that we can't shake. So since God has always had somebody to love, he's never been alone, they've always been loving on each other. God comes up with an idea. That idea is stated in Ephesians chapter 1, verses 4 to 6. I'll read it to you. Just as he chose us in him before the foundation of the world, that we would be holy and blameless before him in love. He predestined us to adoption as sons through Jesus Christ to himself, according to the kind intentions of his will, to the praise of the glory of his grace. Watch this. Which he freely bestowed on us in the beloved the beloved meaning the, the person you love the beloved somebody calls somebody their beloved the person they love the father is referring to the son as his beloved but then he throws a curveball he says but he chose us in the beloved 
okay? Let me explain. The Father and the Son and the Spirit, they're having this love fest within the Trinity. And they just love on each other 24 hours a day, finding out how they can bring greater glory to the other person because they love the other person that much. And so the Father comes up with an idea. The Father says, Son, I love you so much that what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a whole race of people to sing your praises. I love you so much. I want to show you how much I love you, but I'm going to use all my creative energy and I'm going to create a group called Humanity. And this group called Humanity has one job, to sing the, the praises of my son. The son said, Daddy, if you do that for me and all these folk that you create for me are singing my praises, I'm going to lead them into singing your praises. So when I tell them to pray, I'm not going to tell them to pray to me. I'm going to tell them to pray our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be your name. So you're going to do that for me. You're going to create a whole human race designed to sing my praises. Then I'm going I'm to get the spirit to work in them so that they spring it back to you so that you'll be glorified because I was glorified by your glory in my life. And I just whip that glory back around to you and we can keep this love fest going. So the reason God created humanity was to create a group of people who would celebrate God's love for his son. It's like a, a birthday party that you show and you invite a whole bunch of guests to celebrate the person who the birthday is for. God loved his son so much that he created humanity to celebrate the glory with which he loved his son. So that you have been, he says, chosen in the beloved. You've been chosen because of his love for his boy. 